Good evening and welcome back to the Royal Sea Cup. Of course, if you're from the Western Hemisphere, it is just good morning or good afternoon. This is the Royal Sea Cup loser bracket where we will be sending the first of our top eight teams home. It's going to be either Brandy Sports or Morph Team that will be sent home today. Unfortunately, the format does not reward, you know, finishing off uh, at such a bad position. So, I'm, nevertheless, these two teams will be playing it out on Haven for one last best of three. It's going to be a very good one indeed between these two powerhouses here. Unfortunately, there's too much talent on this particular tournament. So it's actually it's actually very sad to see either Bren or Morph go mm -hmm. home. But we've got to say thanks for the laughs. Thanks for the t cheers and jeers. And of yep. course, thanks for the memes across <laughs> so many games that we have casted. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm Hound. He's Zero. We are excited to be bringing you the game. Um... Any thoughts on Haven and any thoughts on the performances from Bren and Morph, respectively? Yeah, well, this is the Morph's uh, map pick since they won the coin toss. And I think I have an idea why they picked Haven. It's because the last time they've met it with Morph, uh, with Bren Esports in the group stage, Morph actually took uh, the map on Haven. Uh, I think it was 13-6, which was quite a convincing scoreline against Bren. So maybe they're feeling like, hey, we can repeat that performance there. I'm, I'm trying to look for those stats. Mm -hmm. Not entirely sure where it is. Yes, it was uh, 13 to 9, actually. 13 to 9, 13 yep. to nine Morph uh, that went on defense. Yeah. And it was Bren that picked up a uh, Haven. That was very interesting indeed mm -hmm. here as we're going to be moving forward. Yeah. We do see that uh, Morph has been able to win out quite a bit. They were the yeah. teams that sent AHQ yeah. packing Definitely. in Haven. And AHQ was actually the more... Uh, the, the favorite team the to favorites. actually come out of this, so that's definitely an that's definitely an accomplishment all on its own. As we're going to be starting the pistol rounds here, round number one between these two teams, Bren on the defense, whereas Morph on the attack. Looking to see how that's going to be uh, working out for these two teams. Spike is still going to be towards the A side, so maybe they might rotate towards A. Oh, dubstep goes a little bit whoop 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 onto Fat Penguin, starting off with a big advantage here for Bren. Yeah, that uh, shoddy really lethal in such close situations, especially towards the sewer. Bren will draw opening kill. And what's interesting for the side of Morph is that they have taken a page out yeah. of uh, BBI's book, which uh, Oitan really likes to play Killjoy on towards Haven. And he had great success on it. Looks like Morph maybe wants to try that out a little bit. But for the side of Bren, they have a little bit more of a standard setup there. The Reina for Dispenser as well as Dubstep, of course, on his signature jet. And uh, we might have an initiation here towards the seaside as it's gonna be Kurt getting a kill on towards Ching. But is Spencer able to get two and be able to back off as well? Famous gets a kill on towards Sporkrim, leaving it to a two versus three. Ching as well as uh, his teammates are rotating. Dubstep gets a kill to Famous. Freya will be able to trade, but Spencer with the triple will stop them in the tracks. The spike will not go down, and Bren will take the first round. Very good defense around here from Bren. Uh, I do like this composition here from uh, both sides. Um, what's interesting to note also is the fact that uh, Morph is going to go cypherless, so they might not mm -hmm. be... I, I don't entirely like this non-cypher pickup here, yeah. uh, mainly because of um, how C is. Basically, you'll be able to put in a, a spy cam and be able to get so much information, yeah. and because of that, you'll be able to just... Not to say leave C alone, mm -hmm. at least you'll be able to get... Uh, a, a little bit of information so you can focus onto somewhere. Wow, Fidel Wow opens up onto Dispenser with the tap. Very nicely done. Very interesting to see why Dispenser was actually out there so haphazardly. Yeah, he tried, he, maybe he tried to get, you know, an early pick because knowing that the opponent likely is going for a full eco, maybe he can get an early pick or two, but instead it was just Morph having two gun barrels stare down at him and they're going to give away one Phantom and it's going to be cut. One of the most dangerous players from the side of Morph to pick that up. They are, they might be in some trouble. Exactly, and I feel that Bren has just thrown away quite a big, uh, quite a big advantage here. And um, for Morph to be able to pick up that Phantom is definitely a, a sign of disaster that may impending disaster that may happen onto Bren here, as uh, onto Bren as we do see nicely done here on a both. You see Jesse Vash will be able to take down two. Very nicely oh. done with the triple. Ooh, baby, onto oh, but it was famous with the Phantom. 
Phantom that gets it back. Dubstep will be able to get the tap onto Freya. Famous gets onto Dubstep, oh, but it's going to be gee. Brent that gets it with the Bulldog onto Famous. Very nicely done. And this is going to be the start of a two-round lead. Let's take a look at that replay. Zero. Yeah, that was still in a, a very expensive round. We do see a lot of trades coming here. Jesse Vash did very well to hold on to a site. All by his lonesome. He got all three. Uh, he got the first three kills. He did fall in the end, but in the end, it was just down to one versus one. And that will cost the side of Brand quite a bit of money because Morph, they uh, had been able to force four rebites from the side of Brand. They did only manage to save one Phantom. Morph will be very happy with that uh, situation. Oh, looking at uh, this, this is a very good uh, arrow there. We'll not be able to get that much information. However, we do see coming in from the side of Bren, there is going to be a very even split across the board. There is going to be one member from the side of uh, Morph that is going to see maybe there might be a contest here between Ching as well as uh, one member of Morph here. So I'm pretty interested to see whether or not Freya will be able to get this. Freya. Oh, oh, Freya gets the tap here, opening up C, but we do see a rotation here coming in from Dispenser on Bren onto C Garage. And this could be interesting here. Um, Double Doors is uh, being picked mm -hmm. up. I think there might be an a site um, take here for members of Morph. I think that is going to be on the menu for them. Uh, maybe come in towards A Long as well as A Sewers, but dangerously enough. Um, it is going to be Jesse Vash that's holding on to it. The smokes have been dropped here, and I think that it's going to signify members of Brand to be able to go for the rotate. Hopefully, they will be able left. to rotate quickly and start the retake phase. Yeah, definitely. That was a smart call coming from the side of Brand. They know they killed one towards C, that means one player will be rotating in uh, towards C, leaving only at most two players towards A, but they did also see the Reyna in the Garage, so playing the numbers, they know that the A side will most definitely be undermanned, and especially not able to hold a full 5-man push, so Morph able to get the plant, and uh, this retake situation, Famous gets one, while Freya will fall, Borkum gets that tank win as well, leaving it to a 3 vs 3 for while, gets a wall bang onto Jesse Vash, but will fall himself, Famous will trade off, Borkum 2 versus 1, it's gonna be dubstep, can he get something done, but no, it's gonna be Famous with the headshot, with the triple, able to clear things out, and that's gonna be Morph's first point on the board. Very nicely done here from Morph to be able to get back into the game, 3 rounds already in the books, and Morph will be able to secure their first victory, Eco e uh, economy for both these teams look fairly healthy across the board. However, I think it is going to be Bren that decides to go maybe for the Bucky here on the dispenser. Yep. Let's take a look at that replay here from the previous round for round number three. Some really good exchanges here, but it was going to be Morph that was being able to get on top of things. Very nicely done. Numbers advantage for them, and it was going to be famous that closes it out onto Dubstep to close around uh, number three as we come into round number four it seems that there is going to be a little bit of information here being um how to say uh, communicated towards uh, fidel wow and uh, they are going to be pushing in very quickly indeed here for the side of morph and i think that morph could actually be able to balance it out in terms of round Five one targets. here in this round yeah definitely brent should be looking to just Maybe get some extra kills because this retake is very unlikely. Oh, Kurt might have made a mistake there with the uh, with the tailwind, and he will fall. It will be fact Penguin getting the transfer though, as well as uh, Jesse Vash and Dubstep trying to just recover guns at this moment. Four versus two, still a very a very unlikely retake, and with the de with the death of Dubstep, Fat Penguin getting the kill. It's going to be just one last player from the side of Morph, uh, from the side of Brent surviving. Bren right now, one single player left. Fidel Wow goes for the bounce and oh, misses oh. it out. Jesse Vash will be able to get the puppet dump and most likely will be able to get that operator. Very smart choice here. Decides to drop onto this onto the cage and uh, hopefully it won't be. Oh, oh, will be able to get one, but Freya will be able to get Jesse Vash and it sees the operator will be switching hands again. Two to th three times that two times, excuse me, the mm -hmm. operator switch hands and it goes back to Fidel. Yeah, wow. Yeah, Jesse Fash did make that hunt very expensive, taking three members down all by his lonesome. 
Or was it two members? I think it was around two. Uh, it was two, two members. Two members, yeah. Down. So they, he did make it expensive. He only had a Bucky, so he definitely uh, came out on top of that trade. Morph is not going to be too uh, perturbed, though, because they did manage to recover the Operator. But right now, round number five is going to be full buy rounds uh, for both of the teams. Okay, so we do see here Dubstep uh, with uh, the Blade Storm may actually push on to mid-window here. Very haphazard indeed, considering there are four members already moving towards A. It's all about timing. Oh, he spots the <laughs> spike! Oh, but Dubstep will be able to take him down. Famous right now is going to just be holding on to it. He's got to be careful that he doesn't spend way too much time here. I think it's going to be a wise choice for him to actually back out, but he actually spotted the spike, and I think that was going that is definitely a big a big good uh, piece of information that is going to be communicated towards members of Brand here as we can see two members already down for the side of Morph and Brand could steal this away yeah not to mention he did manage to recover the Phantom as well so from being just with a pistol right now he has his Phantom and Cut might be able to get a kill no dispensers it is a little bit too fast for him gets his head and Morph is look, looking like to be most likely saving this round because they cannot afford losing this operator. Morph, they will give away round number left. five. All right, so most teams now not looking to run around the map too much. Don't want to be communicating too much of the audio cues or maybe might have a save from the side of Morph here. They do have a Vandal and I think an... Uh, both of them are going to be using, I think, maybe a Vandal as well as a Phantom, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not entirely left. sure about that. But we do see five members for the side of Brand. Going to be a pretty flawless round for them. And it's going to be easy pickings as it's going to go to Brand for round number five as the timer has expired. Yep, Morph definitely might have fushed that up a little bit. They tried to double pick the Reyna, this uh, Dubstep. Uh, they tried to double pick the Jet, but Dubstep was way too fast with that ultimate and they managed to claw back uh, despite what we find, what seemed to be a rather close round Brand with the three early pickoffs uh, and Morph could not do anything about it but still Morph will be able to buy up here in round 6 and we might see them change up the pace a little bit maybe play a bit faster to Let force Brand to be on the defensive well, there could be some interesting ch changes here. Excuse me, there could be some interesting turns here from the side of Brand considering that Bokum does uh, Excuse me, there is going to be Bokum hanging out towards mid-side here. Maybe a mid-push might be a good idea for the side of Bren. Uh, for the side of Morph, excuse me. But I think there is... Oh, oh I do hear a Hunter's Fury from a Fidel. Wow, I don't think he's going to be hitting anybody. Lear has come up over with c uh, Excuse me, b -Law. As we do see here, some good shots that coming in from Famous to take the Bokum and the Operator has been taken down for the count. Dispenser already on to the side, looking towards getting the response. Dispenser will be a take down on to Famous. Very nicely done indeed, as we do see in Cubby there. One member of Morph is going to be stuck as well as Fidel Wow on the Operator. They are going to be trying to force it out. There goes the Recon Ball. Not, oh, but Dubstep here. It's going to slowly move it out. Fat Penguin will be able to take down Dispenser with the tap. This is where it could change here. Teleports into it. Ching now trying to get as much info. It's going to be Jesse Vash as well as Bren. Uh, as well as Dubstep on Bren uh, to be able to get the kills. Netting it out on round number six. Two rounds ahead of Morph. Yeah, Bren definitely did ha uh, manage a great hole. Uh, on towards the seaside there. Morph really didn't get any hit away when they were trying to go inside there. So Brent getting the two round lead so far. Morph can still buy out in this round, but next round they will be on an eco for sure. So Bren is uh, in a comfortable position at the moment. They have the operator uh, picked up there by Dubstep so he can start wrecking some havoc here. Uh, on this mid window way. area. Yeah, it is going to be a very interesting one here. Um, a little bit of Havoc is going to be on the menu for the side of Morph as well as, oh, very nicely done there. Shock Bolt will not be able to hit home onto anybody for the side of Morph. Brand right now, Cud with the Blade of Fury. Seems that the Aldrone is going to be coming. Oh my goodness, and it seems that one member of Morph there was caught very, very dangerously outside. Luckily enough, wasn't going to be punished. There goes a push by Cud, and uh, the Lear comes in from the side of Morph. We do see a full push. Oh my <laughs> goodness! Cheek with the jump scare. On to Famous as well as Fat Penguin. Definitely going to be scaring each other there. Freya does not get the double, but it is going to be Balkum that gets the close. On to Freya. 
Yeah, Brand once again, yet another nice hold. They only need needed three players there to be able to handle the push coming from the side of Morph. And uh, this triple kill from Ching was huge in, in, uh, in terms of holding out this side. This flick on towards the head of Reyna was a little bit unexpected. Bam! Hey, thank you, man. And they got three kills there. Uh, Ching was able to stall off enough. Just stave off the plant, stave off the push coming from the side of Morph. And they will be rewarded with the fifth round on the board for the side of Red. Alright, so looking at how Bren has been handling it, it seems like a very good round here for members of Bren to be holding on. We do see that there is going to be a Cypher Cam at B. Very interesting indeed here from Bren. I would like to see that Cypher Cam on to C actually. I think it will be able to communicate a little bit more, but I don't know what Bren is actually trying to do with this. I do think that uh, the amount of information that the Spy Cam will be getting will not be as um, effective or efficient as it is at sea. We do see a nanobot swarm grenade here gonna come over. Nothing's gonna be hit. Might be a bit of a waste of utilities there. We do see that there's gonna be a hit onto the link from B. And this could be a very interesting turn of events for the side of Morphia. Oh! Borkum! We'll be able to say it out famous. And we do see that there's going to be another onto Borkum. Borkum gets traded here. Fidel, Fidel Wow onto Borkum as well as Cut. But we do see Bren uh, Ching from uh, Bren decides to go for the Hunter's Fury. Will not be able to get anybody. There goes the plant by the side of Morph. This could be a round for Bren. For a round for Morph here if Bren does not play it properly. We do see Dispenser take down one. We do see Morph and uh, Cut and Freya take down two in Dispenser and Ching. One more player left. For the side of Brad goes down for the jump and dubstep will be the last victim and casualty for the side of Brad as Cut closes it out and closes the round with two uh two points behind two rounds behind Brad. Yeah, there was an interesting push coming from the side of Morph. They tried, they cleared off all the angles and actually got the spike down. Sure, Borkum got two kills, but he, in the end, he was traded there by Fidel Wow. And then uh, the retake came a little bit too slow. You'd expect the rotations coming in from the side of Bram to be a little bit faster, but Morph was able to get into the side. Borkum tried his best. Uh, Dubstep was stuck in heaven, so he uh, he couldn't really do that much damage or even just stall them out a little bit. In the end, Morph did get the upper hand in taking the side. They took the numbers advantage early, the trades were in their favor, and uh, having said that, Bren still should be able to pull by here. We do have a slight technical pause going towards the way of Bren. Morph, what is their next game plan? Morph may actually consider... Uh... A B split push maybe, maybe into mid as well as C from Garage. But the problem with Garage here, uh, actually a C split push, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, from C long as well as C Garage. But the problem is normally that they do have at least one member from the side of um, from the side of Brent to be holding on towards yeah. double doors as well. And we also see that there is going to be a trap wire there that has been dropped down from the side of Brent. So that's going to slow down at least and give some good information towards Brent. And and um, maybe this could be a turn of pace here for the side of Morph if they're able to actually get a lot of real estate here. Because we do see that uh, at B, they do have two, uh, two agents that are there from the side of Bren holding on towards B. But they don't have any information into the yeah. court, into mid courtyard. So this could be an opportunity for the side of Morph to actually steal it away and take it from Bren. Yeah, but usually when you have no information targets, you want to push out heavily towards long, which is what we are seeing here. Fat Penguin might be the first one to take a charge here. Borkum is playing inside the dark covers, trying to spam through it. Spots the shot, but Borkum is still not detected inside here. But looks like Fat Penguin has an idea. Maybe there's a player pushed out very aggressively towards the uh, dark cover. So he's just going to hold the angle and wait for someone from the side of Brand to play aggressively. But looks like uh, for the start, from dubstep, he's gonna travel towards the sewer and hopefully he gets an opening pick. This Unfortunately, looks like everyone from Morph has backed off from that area and is going to try to get some information towards B. All right, so we do see here coming in from the side of Bren, excuse me, from the side of Morph now. Going to go for the Owl Drone. It seems that they won't be able to spot out the camera. So I think this is where the spy cam definitely works out. Mm -hmm. So it is going to be about a four-man stack on to B here. Oh, Fat Penguin opens up on to Jesse Vash here. This is where all 
all of it's gonna break loose between themselves. Fat Penguin will, excuse me, Dubstep will be taken down. Dispenser takes down Cut in return. Fidel Wall will be able to take down uh, Dispenser as well as Fat Penguin takes down Ching. Nicely done. Gets the spike down for that extra moolah as they close out the round. Morph slowly climbing back into contention. Yep, definitely almost at the... Uh... 10th round and Morph has made it very competitive, at least this half has been so far. Dubstep not really performing as we would expect from the star fragger of the side of Brand New Sports. Morph though, they have been really uh, getting these entries very on point. And uh, let's see if they can replicate their success in round 10. We do have a mid turret set up here, so that is going to give an inclination that this might be a C-long push. Maybe a C long push. Hopefully, they will be able to commit towards this. We do see now some spokes there being hit towards mid window. As we do see Dubstep now very dangerous with the operator here looking towards gathering as much information as they can. And it might be a five man stack onto A long as well. Maybe a two three split uh, push onto A sewers as well as A long. Don't think that they're all going to be pushing in. I think this is going to be a very good choice here. But they have to be very wary of the cypher cam and i think the cypher cam is going to spot at least oh. two cut will be able to take down onto balkum and it opens up quite a bit here a bit of smoke there being sought out for the side of cut for the side of morph onto heaven and we do a vertical control has been taken away we do see now that some members are going to be jumping up onto um onto heaven here vertical control is going to be very important indeed but the smoke is still up there or smoke has been taken away out already morph freya right now holding on to Towards the side here, seems that uh, the spike is not going to be put down yet. Oh, the spike has been put down, excuse me. Yeah. But it's in a really awkward position, especially Vash able to get a first kill dispenser. Yes, that Penguin as well, and using the Empress, had get, getting that fast advantage dispenser will clean up with uh, the last kill. And the spike, like I said, it was in a very weird position that uh, Morph couldn't really set themselves up in a nice post plant position. They were very awkwardly just scattered around the site and Brand just picked them off one by one without even losing a single member on the retake. Morph, they have to rethink <laughs> their planting position because that was awkward as hell. It was very awkward indeed here and it seems like it was going to be a free two round advantage here to give it to the side of Brand. I didn't like the strategy that was coming in from the side of Morph. I felt like it was a little bit rushed, uh, a little bit half-baked yeah, here yeah. but I, I do believe that members of Morph will definitely adjust their tactics and move forward with a little bit more grace and a better plan yep definitely and uh, as round number 11 looms for us this will be one of the last buy rounds that morph can afford before they have to be forced on towards an eco cut does have his uh, blade storm up and running and he's gonna run point from the side of morph hopefully he is able to open things up for a team if not their team is going to be rather passive because without the jet it's only up to the reina to try and open things up and that is 50% uh, of your entry fragging capabilities gone with just one pick off on towards cut. Very interesting here coming in from Morph. Uh, they are going to try to get as much um, real estate as they can towards mid here. Double Doors is going to be uh, hunkered down by members of Bren, uh, by members of Morph, excuse me. We do see that Bren has that Sova Ching in the cubby here they don't know they don't know anything yet so members of morph have got to be very wary on how they want to be pushing this out but it is going to be a four man stack here could be very dangerous for members of morph if they're not careful one and done is the name of the position there and ching will be only be good for one the rotations are coming in does that does that the operator trying to protect himself spots one kill gets famous Morkum will help out with a kill onto his cut Delta gets his second can he get the third no Morkum will say no I want that kill and they'll be able to clean things up rather cleanly as well only losing Last Ching round, as well as the Spencer but they managed to clean it up saving the operator and we're down to the last round in this half well, before that, let's take a look at that replay for round number 11. Good stuff being shown from the side of Bren here. Looking at Dubstep, just lining up and dropping them like bowling pins as they go. As Aborka will be able to get that final kill. Last round before the swap, round number 12. Let's see how more fares on defense here. Supposedly, Haven is um, more of an attacker-sided yeah. map. However, it seems that Bren has... Uh, 
that secret sauce to be mm-hmm. able to get uh, Morph out of balance. And I think that this is uh, the key to success for Bren here. We do see that there is going to be a bit of a split here in terms of where the players, actually where the members of the team of Team Morph are going to go to. They might actually push up towards A long and hit towards A side. But the spike no is slowly no make. Oh, it's already at a long, so they may actually may go there. There goes the Hunter's Fury there by Fidel Wow. Fidel Wow will not be able to take anyone. The dubstep will be a take down onto Morph, onto a famous cut will be a take down. Dubstep in the trade. Vash will be able to take down Fat Penguin as Vash will be able to take down another one. The double goes over towards Fidel Wow. Dispenser gets onto Freya as well. This could be the eighth round in favor of Brand before the swap, and it looks good. Four members of Brand 4v1. Cut has faced stronger opponents in uh, this situation, but unfortunately, Jesse Vash holding the angle very tightly and is Switching able to side. get the last kill. So Brand will win the first half very convincingly. 8 to 4 was. Uh, it was not the scoreline that Morph expected themselves to find uh, themselves in uh, in the first half, but Brand definitely has shown that they are capable of playing this defensive side very well. But right now, on the switch, we're gonna have to wait and see how Brand will do on the attacking side. Freya will be setting up all these annoying pests of uh, utility towards the C side, but uh, Morph, they might uh, for Brand, they might not be actually hitting uh, C. All right, so this is interesting here now. Without the now with uh, Bren on attack and Morph does not have the cipher, this is going to be a bit of a problem here for Morph, mainly because that they won't be able to get that extra piece of intel with the cipher spy cam. It is going to be uh, this is going to be a bit of a pistol round here between uh, pistol, the early pistol rounds and um, looking towards seeing who picks this out for the first few rounds and who will start that NC eco in uh, the second round. We do see that coming in from the side of Bren. They are going to be very ginger with how they approach here. A bit of an exchange here from Borkum on to Fat Penguin. And it's going to be Fat Penguin with the shorter end of that exchange. We do see a recon arrow now not going to be able to get anything out of that. Will there be a re-rotate uh, from the side of Bren? No, it's not going to be the case. They are most likely going to commit towards the A push from uh, sewers as well as A long onto A long ramp. Yeah, the, the rotations were a bit slow, but Brent didn't really fully commit until right now. Oh, the shockball almost brings down Fido Wow, but the secondary shockball will get him in fact. Freya as well as Cut opening things up. Dubstep gets a huge double though, stopping both of them and we'll get the class kill. That's from Dispenser. He brings down Cut. And the first pist- the second pistol round will go towards the way of Ren, and that is not a good sign if you are a fan of Morph. Yeah, and that's the case here coming in from Bren. Nicely done as that was Ching being able to take down Fidel Wa with the shock. Uh, with the shock and drop, we do see uh, that uh, Dubstep was going to be able to get that double. Mm-hmm. And it was Dispenser that closed out the game for round number 13 as we head to round number 15. Could be Bren's game here if they keep this up, but Morph is still in play. But it is a bit of a mountain for them to climb against Bren. Yep, and the mountain right now is named Dispenser. He's going to try and push out long aggressively clear things out uh the rain the killjoy saw the leer and just backed off all the way back off side so bren they just need to play it slow they have all the utility they have all the firepower in the world to be able to enter at either of these sites and uh, they're just waiting for it more if they have these uh, short angles that they're holding on to so far hopeful that they are uh, able to get trades or even just pick up someone's uh, an enemy's gun but Bearing that, it seems like Bren should have the upper hand the moment they figure and uh, commit to a single side. Alright, so I do think that coming in from the side of Bren, it is going to be a very slow and not to say slow and methodical, but a rather methodical approach mm-hmm. here, trying to get as uh, trying to get true process of elimination how, where the spot is going to be. But it seems that A is uh, the secret sauce for their cooking here, as they yeah. are going to be cooking up a storm heading over towards A. I do believe that uh, one member of Bren there gonna be able to push up all the way from A long up to A ramps without any contention. Bokka will be able to take down two on to cut as well. Famous Jesse Vaz will be able to take down Fat Penguin. It is gonna be a 5v2. Fidel Wa will be able to take down Bokka. Spoke too soon here as Freya will be able to take down one but a little bit of shots there coming in towards him as Freya right now. Last surviving member here. Dubstep goes 
uh, uh, Freya will be taken down by Dispenser. Dubstep immediately goes for that plant and it's going to be easy pickings. Three more rounds away from Brand closing this out and sending more packing. Yeah, a near flawless round. That was what they needed. They will be able to upgrade if they want to, but looks like Brand, they see themselves having a comfortable lead. They're just going to play a little bit faster, play a bit loose, maybe just rush C right now. That's definitely what Morph is not expecting them to do. And look at that setup. They are going in for into a C for sure. And we have seen plenty of times how Bren actually punishes these C defenses if they're playing too far out. Let's see if they can do it once again. All right, looking at how this is going to be working for members of Bren here. Um, Morph now definitely not enjoying uh, that much of advantages at uh, this juncture of the game, but we do see it is going to be off. But just as just as he was going to be switching over to his nanos, uh, his uh, nanobots, it was going to be cut. That comes into it and gets it. Dispenser will be taken out for a count onto the side of Bren. The spike has been planted onto C, and this is where a very interesting turn here could come for the side of Bren. But it seems that Morph right now isn't responding to this well as Dubstep will be able to take down cut. We do see Fidel Wow now going to go for it, and it's going to be three kills for Dubstep as Bren Ching will, excuse me, Ching will be closing out onto Fidel Wow with the final kill. Yeah, this round, this entire round, uh, entire map seems to have been too easy for Bren. They seem to have read Morph down to the last letter. Mor uh, whatever Morph tries to do, the rotations, their setup, their stacks towards either side, Bren seems to have that uh, to be ahead of them every single step. And Bren, right now, looking to be the better team. 11 to 4. They are two points away from taking this map and moving on towards the second round of the lower brackets. Morph. They really need to step up right now if they want to move on in the Royal Sea Cup. Yeah, and that's the thing here with about eight rounds, excuse me, seven, seven rounds, rounds behind. It's definitely going to be a hard one, but Morph famous here. We're looking towards getting the opening kill. We do see Borkum getting double though for the side of Bren. Doesn't look good for them. 3v4 here with an advantage towards Bren. Very interesting. Uh, uh, very easy dark step there coming in from uh, Borkum. We do mm -hmm. see the paranoia coming out. Excuse me, the smoke coming out into mid... Uh, excuse me, into B doors. Mid double doors here just behind Box. Famous is just going to be hanging out. Jesse Vash not getting any information. It's got to be very careful that he doesn't get caught out by that member of Bren. Excuse yep. me, by that member of Morph. Oh, Jesse Vash did a very smart play there. He used the, uh, the tagging dart. To bait out Famous, he thought that Famous, uh, uh, Famous thought that the dart was used somewhere else, so he tried to get a pick, but if, instead it was just a fantastic bait there from Daddy Vash. Very smart play, and uh, with that, Ren is going to leave Morph with one last member remaining. It's gonna be Fat Penguin, and he is going to try the impossible, which is to retake against four full guns. Very nicely done here from the side of Brent to be able to get it. And nope, it's not going to be enough as Jesse Vash will send Fat Penguin pack packing. Match point for Brent and it seems Match like point. all roads lead to Brent for this lower bracket. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Brent is... Uh, looks like to be the better team tonight. They did lose to A... Uh, they lo did lose to Triple A uh, in the first round. Today morning where we saw a best of three, they lost 0-2. to two. Uh, Bre uh, Morph as well, they tried very hard but could not overcome the powerhouse that was, I believe, uh, Vision Strikers? Yeah, yeah. if I'm so not mistaken, yeah. Two very strong teams, dropped these two teams down really towards lower brackets, but it seems like only one team can survive and that, that might very well be Bren as they're playing for match and match point right now. Fidoel, oh, Famous gets into position to get a trade on towards Jesse Fash. And Famous is going to be able to back off. Oh, Dubstep goes in aggressively, gets a kill to Australia, but Cut will respawn with an operator shot off his own. The spike will go down. Working with the huge flank, getting two kills on towards Cut as well as for the while. Famous brings him down, but he's down to a two versus two. There goes the Empress. Famous is going to have to come up big if they want to hold on to this game. Two versus two. Can they do it? Fat Penguin is in garage. I feel like that wasn't a very good layer there coming in from the side of Morph. It is a going to be a 2v2 fight here. Bren is going to be holding on. Fat Penguin now does have the advantage here. 2v1 with Ching right now holding on. Boom! 
There goes one more. Can we get it? All through Chick. Very nicely done. Famous will be able to get three. Does he have enough time? I'm sure he does. There we go. On to the diffuse. Yep, nicely done there from Famous. Knowing that the last remaining player is uh, Sova. Definitely he will be trying to line these arrows up as well as using the Hunter's Fury. So he made a smart call, he pushed up forward, got the kill and used the dismiss to get back towards the spike just in time. Uh, Fat Penguin used his life to get the half defuse which secured their defuse and uh, Morph is able to survive and fight on for one more round. Very nicely done here from the side of Bran, uh, from the side of Morph here, breathing a little bit of life into their hopes. Of seven rounds, perfect. They need to play against Bran. It's a tall order to be asking from Morph, but it has been done before yeah. in the past, and hopefully Morph will be able to get it, but nope. Ching opens up onto Famous. This doesn't look good for the side of Morph and their aspirations of getting out of this lower bracket. Yeah, definitely. A hole was just punctured in the body of the Reyna and it was Ching that, stro uh, that struck first. 12 to 5 scoreline, Bren. Can they close this out or we might we be seeing yet another overtime? Something that we've been seeing quite a lot today. Uh, but still, 4 versus 5, Morph is hanging by a thread. Dispenser, can he get this kill onto his fat penguin who did give his life up for the last defuse? It might be possible, but Kurt might be meeting the stab and he gets the kill. Uses the tail with the back the hell off, but that signals a full-on mid-push. They are going straight towards B. Straight out of A side, they're definitely going to be a good one from the side of Kurt. Operator onto A long was definitely going to be working in his favor. We do see some good shots that are coming in from Fidel. While Borkum has been able to get him, uh, Borkum was not able to get that exchange here. Fat Penguin will left. be able to get onto Ching 2v4. And it seems that Bren right now is on the receiving end. Freya right now closing it out. Jesse Vash closes out onto Fidel. Wow. And uh, there we go. A bit of exchanges here coming in from. Jesse Vash. Jesse Vash, last surviving member. 13 seconds, 12 seconds left. Ally Killjoy there coming left. in just at the perfect time. Looks like he is going to be forcing it out. Nope, will not be able to get it. Oh my goodness, <laughs> just as it happens, Freya comes out with the jump scare onto Jesse Vash. Still, it was all right. Brand still has six more rounds to play with. They still can uh, muster a very mixed buy. Uh, on this round, so Morph is definitely not out of the woods yet, but right now, if you're on the side of Morph, you are just tanking every single baby step you, that you have. You don't want to count your chickens before they hatch, you just want to take one step at a time. You are one round away from being eliminated from the Royal Sea Cup, so if you, if you can win a round, I'll take that round any single day, one step at a time. Morph definitely counting their honey stars or definitely thanking their lucky stars. <laughs> for those of you who are uh, all about uh, the references, we do mm -hmm. see here Cud right now trying to get some of that shot on to see long. Will not be able to get anybody down. It seems that members of Bren are going to be holding on to Cubby here. Spike is at C. Uh, Spike is at C long just before C long. So this could be an opportunity for them to maybe bug out, maybe focus on to a push towards B. I'm not entirely sure what is on the plan, but B could be the spot for them to actually plant the spike. Uh, at A as well, we do see some double sidelines as well as at C. We do see a bit of a rotate here from the jet for the side of Morph to be holding on towards window as well. Lear has been taken out towards C and it seems that it is going to be a full commit on to C here. Yeah, it's famous though. Gets a kill on to a spork. Freya gets it. One on dubstep dispenser pops. The Empress, and he's gonna strike first on first one. He might get a second. Yes, he does. Does have to dismiss. That's gonna be a long operator. He spots it, and he's gonna be stuck in the side. Long along with Jesse Vash. Jesse Vash still gets a kill on those famous. As well as Middle Wall down. It's down to two versus one. Fat Penguin has to carry his team. Here comes the Nero Tap. That's gonna give them so much information, but the spike is so far away. Fat Penguin, he made a huge play. Can he hold on this? He used the shadow, the, the shadow step to get out of his right corner, move to the left corner, and now back to the right corner again. So many mind games, and he gets the kill, oh! and he's able to clutch this as well. Morph is able to survive another round off a huge play coming from the side of Fat Van Green. I was wondering what was happening with <laughs> Bren here. They dropped the ball. They dropped the ball here. Well, not the ball, the spike, they basically. They dropped both of them. 
Yeah, they dropped both of them. And look at that. Nicely done from Fat Penguin. Not fat fingering it at all. Being able to drop them down with the clutch. And he sees them morph right now. Mm -hmm. Slowly coming back into this game. Definitely a huge play coming from Fat, fat Penguin. They only need maybe five more of this uh, to force them into overtime. Not a huge ask at all if you ask me. But still, Bren, they are. they should be getting a little bit flustered now. It's getting late into the day. And uh, they are fighting for their tournament lives here. Come Fat on. Penguin might be overrun as they are pushing in very fast uh, in towards the side. The, the Paranoia connects onto a dispenser. Dump that does fall towards Fat Penguin who is still playing up there. And Ching as well as dispenser gets a kill apiece. And now the side is wide open. Two on four retake. Can we ask for more? Oh no, Freya. He has no lockdown. He's gonna try for it, but no, Jesse Bash will send them home. Ren will be moving forward, and more will be eliminated from the Royal Sea Cup. Thank you very much for playing uh, Morph, but it is going to be over for you as Brent will be able to get the winning score here. 13 to 7 with Jesse Vaz, Dispenser, and Borkum leading in terms of frags. However, in terms of first blood, it was Dubstep as well as Ching that was opening up famous here. Definitely going to be pretty ahead of his team. However, falling behind is going to be the rest of his team. Very unfortunate here for the side of Morph. Still, it's not a lost cause for Morph. They have played fantastically throughout this entire tournament. They got top of their group in a group where we don't, we never expected them to even get out of. And uh, they've taken games away from Brand. They've taken games away from AHQ. And they are definitely one of the top and up-and-coming teams from the side of Southeast Asia, but alas, it will be Brandy Sports, the stalwarts, the stable team, the shining stars of the Filipinos, uh, Filipino community who will be moving on in the Royal Sea Cup. Well, I don't know about you, but that was a heck of a day. Playoffs has been insane, witnessing mm -hmm. all these teams going up against uh, uh, each other, and it has been a heck of a ride to witness all of these players, not only um, showcase their talents, but also be able to build all of these uh, unforgettable experiences within uh, this within this Royal Sea Cup here brought to you by ePulse and part of the Valorant Ignition series. Yeah, definitely. I mean, looking back and when they look at their achievements in this tournament so far, they, they're not going to be sad. They're going to be excited about their future because they have proven that they can uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with all these great teams. Uh, of course, the tournament life ends today uh, in this match, but they have proven themselves to be a great competitor. Well, despite the fact that the uh, run in the tournament has ended, they will be able to go back home with their hearts mm -hmm. a little bit, Definitely. relieved with the fact that they did try their best. But it, I think uh, for the side of Morph, it's... It's more of like back to the drawing board. They do have quite a lot of data to work yeah. with and they are able to basically learn so much from this. Not only do they, do they compete with some of the best within uh, their own region, but they competed with some mm -hmm. of the best across Asia. Definitely. And uh, for on the other side, Ren, they will move forward to the next round of the lower brackets. They're not out of the woods yet. They will be facing, uh, I believe, the losers of Boom versus... Uh, the other win uh, winner bracket round. So it is going to be a best of one series. It's going to be another uphill climb from the side of Brand Esports. So they have to keep working on their little mistakes. We they had mistakes. They won this game, of course, but there were slight mistakes. That, but obviously nothing too huge that they can't overcome. They have a day uh, to do it in order to try and prepare for tomorrow. So uh, definitely Brand will be also going back to the drawing board, trying to find... Uh, even better strategies or just cleaning up their uh, executions as well as pushes. Alright, so I guess that's going to be all from us. It has been great. We can't spell fun without you. I would like to say <laughs> thank you guys very much for joining us. If you guys joined us from uh, the morning up until now, you guys mm -hmm. have been great. You guys have been awesome and you guys are all about the support. So thank you guys very much. He is zero. I am Hound, and we are going to see you tomorrow for more of the Valorant action. But until then, we still got our analysts to cover up, uh, to, excuse me, to break down what has happened. Yep. So until then, we shall see you again. Take care and stay awesome.
Uh, whoa, 